Hey guys, I just wanted to talk to you about um, something that for a long time I punished myself for. A long time I felt like a shitty person. A long time that it affected how I lived my life. And that something is cheating. Cheating physically with another human being when I'm in a relationship with someone else. That's what I want to talk about today. I was in a relationship with my ex-partner for about three years. When I was 19, I cheated on him. I cheated on him with another person that he knew. Someone that I made clear and went out of my way to you know, just to say that, no, I would never do that. I would never be with this person. I would never cheat on you. But three years into the relationship, I did. And for, not for everybody, but for me, it was something that I struggled with. I was dealing with low self-esteem, cheating, I know this is not a popular opinion, but it definitely did help me, and I know that makes me sound like a shitty person, I know that makes me sound like, oh, you piece of shit, like, what, what do you mean it helped you, you, you tore down another person's self-esteem, you, you broke trust, you were just basically it's just nasty it's not a good thing to do but I did it and it definitely had consequences in my life despite the rush that I got from it despite the the temporary fix that it provided for me it definitely came with consequences it made me feel like this is a perspective of a cheater, okay, guys? This is not me trying to make you feel bad for me. This is not me trying to justify my actions. And this is not me trying to justify not trying to justify not justifying my actions. You know what I mean? Like, this is not... This is me. This is my perspective. This is how I feel. And this is how I felt. I cheated and for five months I maintained a relationship with my ex person, my ex partner and for five months I was having sex with two people at the same time. I allowed myself to get into that situation and I allowed myself to let it progress further and further until it got to the point where I just couldn't do it anymore. And believe me, when I started cheating, I definitely did not think that my partner would stay with me. So prematurely, I decided that the relationship was over and I started having sex with someone else. But the wrong, the wrongdoing on my part was that I never told him, not until the end. And I allowed myself to basically become an object just throwing my body around like it was nothing. And that's not good for the soul. My life went downhill after that. Mm. I'm not pinpointing, I'm not blaming the fact that me cheating caused my life to turn to hell but it was definitely a large factor in the sense that my self esteem was already low and I allowed myself to just be a shitty person and just have sex and treat it like as if it was nothing more than sex when I've already 
built a relationship with someone else. I kind of just acted like... I don't know how to describe it, but it's more like... I basically threw away my whole relationship for sex. And looking back at it, I definitely regret it. I definitely wish I'd never done it. And I definitely wish that I had never led this other person on. Either one of them, both of them, if I did, and I did. I wish that I could go back and just, if I was so unhappy, I should have just left. And if I could, I would. But I can't now. And I've already made those choices. I've already I've already lived with the decision. I've already dealt through my guilt. I've already punished myself enough, you know? And I just want to say that cheating is not worth it. It's not. It wasn't even... For me, it wasn't even about the relationship with the other person. It wasn't like I was sorry. Till this day, I feel like I made that choice. And that's between me and me. I mean, it definitely had an effect on another person. And I should take that into consideration. But when I do that, it feels like I'm trying to... trying to justify it you know like trying to I feel and I have felt like cheating affected me more than it did the person I was with and I know that's wrong I know that doesn't even sound right but because it was me and my body that engaged in that type of activity it was me and my body that dealt with the consequences you know I allowed myself to become emotionally involved and physically involved with two people at the same time and it fucked with my head because in my mind I'm telling myself if I'm really doing this, I can't love either one of you. But here I am doing everything that doing everything that a person who loves another person would do. You know? Still maintaining these relationships as if I'm not out here trifling doing some nonsense, you know? And it really, it just really fucked with me. Cause I was like, do I love, do I love this person? Can I see myself having a relationship with this man? The one I cheated with? Can he be with me? Should I tell my partner that I'm cheating on him? Should I just leave and never say anything? There was a lot of things going through my mind at that time, you know? But I have to say that if you're thinking about cheating, just don't do it. Just leave. Just straight up, just don't do it. I don't give a fuck about the rush, man. Because I know it's a rush. But the rush comes with the downs, too. You ever done coke? I've never done coke. But I'm assuming that when you do coke, you get really high. And you, you know, you like, you, you like, basically, you fuck shit up for a little bit. And then you come down. And it's. I mean, I guess I can compare it to smoking cigarettes. You know, you get, like, buzzed and... You get buzzed and you smoke some more, you smoke some more, and you don't feel that rush anymore. But, yeah. That's all I really wanted to say. That's all I really have to say. And I just, that's my life. And 
These are the choices that I've made. And I've learned to forgive myself for hurting somebody else. I've learned for, to forgive myself for hurting myself. And I've learned to forgive myself for the choices that I will make. Because I know that I'm not perfect. And I know that I don't can't expect other people to be perfect. And I can't justify my actions based on the actions of other people. Because when you really look at it, they have no correlation. You know, like, because you do something does not mean that I have to do something. You know? Because you went and fucked me over does not mean that I have to go and fuck you over. Not that that person that I was with cheated on me. But I just didn't like the way that he treated me. But that does, that does not mean that I go throw my body around like some object. That does not mean that I... That I go be sinful and allow God to watch me as I have sex with two different people on the same day. It's not right. And it never will be right. And that's something that I can respect because... I've been through it. You feel me? <laughs> That's just how I feel. That's always how I felt. And that's just that. Thank you for thank you for coming to my TED talk. Leave a like, subscribe. There'll be more videos. Yeah.